All right, you guys. So before this episode, we just wanted to jump on and say that from now on, the podcast is going to be found on our YouTube channel, which is Liz in Georgia. Um, We'll be posting a bunch of other stuff aside from the podcast as well. So we'll be trying to include some extra content for you guys to watch and get involved with. Yeah, maybe like Day of the Lives or stuff like that. So let us know what you want to see and enjoy the episode. Hello everybody, it is March the 21st, we are leaving for Seattle tomorrow, so we thought that we would squeeze in a cute little, I don't know, catch up before everything gets really busy. Yep. <laughs> okay. You always have the sponsorship. Okay, you introduce me. Okay, it's fine. I never introduce you. you. Okay, first we're just going to hear from Dave Phillips. <laughs> he says, with the warm weather on its way, everyone's excited to be spending more time outdoors, so it's the perfect time to start looking at land to either build your dream home on or enjoy for recreation. Besides residential properties around Blacksburg and Christiansburg, Phillips Real Estate also specializes in land as well, especially large tracts on Floyd County and Carroll County. Go to newrivervalleylandsales.com to see some of the large tracts and building lots they have available, including some around 100 or even 200 acres with mountain views and lots of water. That's newrivervalleylandsales.com, and you can reach out to Dave directly from there and go see some beautiful land out in the country just a short drive from Blacksburg. Thanks, Dave. Um, So that's all we have from him. Let's get into this week's guest because we can't go on anymore without addressing it. They're combined 10 foot 4 inches. Would be 10 six if Ali would fix her kyphosis. <laughs> First, we have Ali Belairs. Can you just give me a minute to do that? <laughs> I can't make sure that this is correct. It's, a, it's an approximation. Ali um, Belairs. Former high school basketball standout. Ginger. A bean. <laughs> A be nice co CEO. Are you the CEO? Is that the appropriate term? I'm the only one there. Okay. <laughs> That's what we thought. Um, two million followers on TikTok, but most importantly, a comedian. Almost 2.1. Almost 2.1 <laughs> million followers on TikTok. Um, and then next we have Harlem Belez. She's an ex carowinds employee. <laughs> professional dancer. Riley's mom. And a professional rock climber. Um, Where's Riley? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. also Riley's mom. And I'm just as good as rock climbing. Are you? Yes. Okay. They also have a couple's TikTok account with 745,000 followers. So. It just went up. What is it? Seven? Okay, I'm sorry. Just went up 2,000 while we're having this conversation. <laughs> did I actually? It probably did. Do you want to plug it in so it can go up 4,000? At the Be- oh, <laughs> this will do it. Yeah. <laughs> At the Belairs. <laughs> Figure out the spelling if you really want it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, anyways, we'll recap for a little bit, but we know that you guys are probably more interested in our guests. Um, so we'll get to that. But just to talk about our last week, we did have two games in the NCAA tournament that we finished, we beat Chattanooga and South Dakota State. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> they were in attendance. Um, do you guys have anything to say about the games? Uh, I think, yeah, easy money. Easy money. You were stressed? I was not, I'll let you know when I'm stressed. Okay. <laughs> we're not I, even close yet. Okay. I had anxiety. <laughs> it's okay, me too. I've ever caused a lot of people, but. I think the refs, honestly, I was more nervous about than any. <laughs> I thought they would win the game before they <laughs> Yeah, that was a painful game, but it was. Okay. But Castle was sold out, and it was insane. When we started warming up, like they let the students in at the ninety-minute mark when we were allowed to warm up, and they all ran down. It was chaotic, yeah. and I loved it. Um, and they sang. Well, I guess the whole place sang. And the same in acapella, and then Barstool posted it. It has like two million views right now. What was your thoughts on that? On like the whole like atmosphere and everything? Crazy. You don't see that a lot for women's basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> you just don't. It was, it was, no. I mean, it was packed. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys have been to, oh, sorry. No. No, you guys. I was just wondering if you guys, like, if you, like, can hear it. What? Oh, that's a good question. The, like, when they're, like, singing a cappella and they're screaming, like, do you yeah. hear anything specific or is it just rah? You know? I, we heard, I heard the singing. You did? Yeah. Did you I didn't just, really. No. You didn't hear it? I mean, I, I knew it was going on, but like, I wasn't like, like, I wasn't super conscious. Like, I know, like, I was um, more in the zone. I how guess. many was it? Six thousand students? Nine thousand. Oh, six oh. students. Students is like fifteen hundred. They had fifteen hundred tickets, but nine thousand. I think that total. if fifteen hundred people were yelling at me, I'd have to hear it a little bit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was pretty. It was pretty hard not to hear it. That is true. I yeah. yeah. I mean, nice I energy. Heard, you guys deserve it. 
Yeah. Did you guys like ever hear of Inner Sandman before? Yes. Coming to our games. But I've never heard it a cappella. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a stupid question? Metallica? I've never heard it before Virginia Tech. I think Metallica might be a little bit better than Virginia Tech. <laughs> I never heard that song. How old are you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. It depends on what years we're talking about. That's In Australian years, I think I'm 32. 30. How old are you then? It's kind of like gold years. <laughs> I'd have to be like 28. Yeah. Okay. There we are. So do the math. Yep. I didn't even do the math. I just guessed. I oh, know. That's okay. Um, <laughs> but we'll jump in right to our first segment which is roommate report card brought to you by 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some new clothes, shoes, sunglasses, earrings, anything, go to 310 Rosemont on Main Street. They have the cutest stuff. Um, it'll get you ready for spring and the warmer weather. So make sure you head there and mention Queens of Castle. When it gets warmer, because it's been yeah. bloody freezing. But go get 15% off and mention us. Um, roommate report card. Okay, so we just talk about, obviously, we're roommates. So we give a little bit of a review, I guess, of the last week. So, Georgia, what do you have for me? Um, not much because of the tournament and everything. So, I'm going to save this up and I'm going to have a mega report card after we travel and everything. Yeah. Because I'm assuming we'll be. Because we do room with each other and everything. Yeah. Um, I don't really have anything for you either, but I did want to give an. <laughs> it's a great segment. This tea is the coldest tea ever. <laughs> Can you guys say something mean about it? Like, did someone not do laundry? <laughs> I want it to be like the opposite of Thanksgiving. Like I want everyone <laughs> to say one mean thing about Dude, each other. Okay, think, try to think of something mean. That oh, uh, yeah. what? No, no, no. What do you have to? Do? I don't know. I'm just scared. Go. Did you, did you do something? No, I don't know. I'm sure you can come um, up with something. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I seriously don't know. Okay, so we're great. Roommates. Wait, I actually one bad thing that did happen though, it was for the both of us, is we went to take the trash out and I went to swing the bag to throw it in and just bust it open and I made her pick it all up. C minus classic. C yeah. minus. <laughs> yeah, we did actually pick it up though, so I feel like we What? <laughs> you is there something that's oh. French in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh we <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, Oh, yeah, that was disgusting also. I'll it was putrid. But I was just going to give 18 A plus because she hasn't been waking up at 4 a.m. Oh, can we give our <coughs> can we give our home in Pennsylvania? Can we do this with our home? Yeah, yeah this is what we were going to loop you in. Okay, cool. Um, loop. You guys give you great report it. cards. <laughs> Wait, I have two questions. Your one oh. for home and then your one when you travel because obviously you're planning on mm. traveling. Oh, those are different. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, can we grade ourselves or are we grading each other? Each other. Each other. Uh, Okay, I know what mine is. Do you need time to think about it? You can go first. Okay, well, that's not really fair, but I will. <laughs> I give Holland, um, this is like unfair too, because Holland had a 4.0 in college and now she's about to get another one after college. That's good. Okay. Holland has an A++ um, because she, she keeps things very, very tidy. Mm. And she is the anchor in this family you do nothing wrong that's not surprising there's nothing that you do wrong i would say i i don't have anything you're per sorry she's perfect i give you an a plus 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 okay well now it's just like you drive <laughs> oh i don't drives. drive okay so that's at home what was and the, the riley be? riley i'd like to give a d minus riley's a dog their dog yeah our dog Riley. she ate a pen she ate a pen <laughs> <laughs> that was on vacation though Riley, we live on the top floor, and Riley has been having to go out at 4.30. And so relatable. In the yeah. It's so relatable. So How relatable. many flights of stairs? Well, we live on the seventh floor. <laughs> Enough to make you wind it. <laughs> okay. you, so who takes who out, or who takes Riley out at 4.30? Oh, easily on. Oh, She's nice. going to be up in two hours. <laughs> got, got five more hours of hibernating. <laughs> yeah, and then I would say... Oh, this is so different for traveling because you I'm so bad with traveling. Holland always packs the suitcases, but I just will oh, like, really? stuff it in. Yeah, she cannot I fold it. the clothes. Oh. Do you pick out your clothes or no? <laughs> That's yeah. not crazy. <laughs> and does and she does she wipe her butt? <laughs> no, yeah. I pick out my clothes and then she says, now fold them. And then okay. I fold them and she packs them all in there. But I think like since we're going from Airbnb to Airbnb and stuff, um, I'm like once I've used clothes, I just like throw them back in there, and she's like, "That's not how we do it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I give you an A plus because you do nothing wrong. But what do you? A plus 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 plus. Okay. Aww. That's just bias. 
You should have gone first. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You know what? F minus. <laughs> she failed out just like she did in school. <laughs> No. You guys are so nice. That's, mm. We didn't even mention that they're married. There are a couple, so. F- I, would hope, I, would hope, <laughs> I would hope that the joint TikTok name. The Bel Airs. You're right. Away. It's well, plural. You never know. It is yeah. plural. <laughs> Not sisters. <laughs> okay. Um, now we have our next segment is That So Raven. This segment is sponsored by the same book we've been talking about. The Cornell Effect, A Family's Journey Towards Happiness, Fulfillment, and Peace. It's an up from the ashes story about Cornell Cranham, who was born a little over a pound, faced incredible challenges in his early years, and how his attitude, passion for life, and sheer determination transformed him and ultimately those in his presence. Dr. John Cranham, the author, launched the book in February 2020 on the Sons of Saturday podcast, and to date, it sold over 100,000 copies and climbed to number five on Amazon in its category. This is a tale about a real hokey family, and if you're wondering if it's worth the read, check out the reviews. It will make you laugh, cry, and be inspired to live your life to the fullest. Do yourself a favor, go to Amazon and order a copy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, you guys... I might be the influencer, but I feel influenced. <laughs> go to Amazon. Um, so that's a Raven, Georgia. Do you have anything? Yeah. Um, we all know about Raven's pregame texts. Um, I would say that it was probably a five out of ten for the Jack Rabbits, because she said there was something about wanting to be like a wannabe Bugs Bunny, but I've just heard funnier. Yeah, the she's top, better. Top one was about Syracuse, how she doesn't like pulp or something like that. Yeah. But now I'm thinking about it. I think it was when she's told the story about how she sat on a beehive at camp. It was Georgia, Georgia Tech. Tech. Yeah. Yellow jackets. So she gets a five out of 10. She gets a five out of 10. So Raven doesn't get an A plus plus today. There's <laughs> one. <laughs> Raven. Um, Love you. <laughs> yeah. I was going to give her actually a good review this week because normally we give her crap about fake crying because she loves like getting uh, attention for being emotional. <laughs> what do you guys say about us? <laughs> Um, no, but she had like genuine tears when we made the Sweet Sixteen, so that was really sweet. Um, yeah, I almost wait. cried too. You did. <laughs> it was also very cute too. How I don't know. I'm locked in. I'm locked in on the game. But yeah. during the game, um, like at the end, in the fourth quarter, they put her up on the screen. I'm pretty sure like the everyone started going crazy. I cried. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So you guys have a very outside perspective <clears throat> looking you. in. Like, how do you do? You have any interactions with Raven or like? Oh. So, <laughs> I made these shirts. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And Raven found out, and Raven took a picture with us. Wait, and Raven also calls me Georgie. Yeah, she does. This is, okay, here. The shirt, if you can't see, is Georgie Amore. But I'm miniature. And, yeah, it's same, a shrunken. Uh, really same size. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shrunken version of Georgia with the big basketball and big feet and head. And it's a great graphic. Holland did. Maybe yeah, it's Raven a, loved it. Yeah, there it was, was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ali. There was one for me too, but Georgia decided not. It to was wear in a it. wash. Because you wore it. Yeah, I wore it last night. Okay. To I bed. did. Yeah, I did. Okay. It actually has holes in it from how much she's worn it. I wish. I wish. <laughs> Bring it to Seattle. Okay, that's fine. I had yes. the same thing. So she wanted a picture because she liked the shirts. Yes. Not because she liked you. No. no. It had nothing to do with me, <laughs> and all to do with Liz. <laughs> She's a very loving sister. Um, do you guys have anything else or any stories about your own siblings? I told. Oh, <laughs> How much time do we have? As much um, as me. I don't know. I can't really remember. I know I talked to Raven for a while, but now I'm like. I'm sure she felt the silence. It's okay. Yeah, we just, we just actually stared at each other for like. Actually, minutes. I remember you said that <laughs> when we were watching the game, and you were like, "Can can we can I get you?" What? Just say it. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> she was just being really awkward with her, be like, I love you, Raven. And I was like, I love you too. Wasn't giving her much. Um, yeah, Raven, I feel like I had a lot of passion towards Raven. And I thought that we were like kind of on the same boat. We were on that Liz Kitley boat. But she pushed me off. <laughs> she sent me overboard. <laughs> she said, This is a boat of one. It really I'm is. The captain. It really is. Yeah. She's a little possessive, but yeah. she is. I'm glad that you guys got to meet her. It's fine. <laughs> Do you have anything else about Raven this week? Um, no, I don't think so. ESPN posted her. Did they? What? That thing they did of you and her. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. She ESPN got... posts her all the time. E- okay, yeah. I should have known. Yeah. She's gotten really famous lately on this podcast. Her head scale. is huge. Oh. What? It is oh. massive. <laughs> <laughs> it is so big. Are we talking about my head? Raven's. <laughs> okay. No. 
Okay. She's she, she got pictures taken with her at the game. People what? are taking selfies with her. She, she says that happens all the time. I told you oh. during the game. Have I said this on here? So. Before the game, she'll, um, like, they get there an hour early. She'll go up and walk around the concourse just because she wants to get noticed. <laughs> <laughs> me. No, me. I love that. It takes confidence. It takes ego, baby. Yeah, she, uh-huh. she's doing it, so. Yeah, but shout out, Raven. We still love you, even though we've been hating on you for the last, like, We haven't weeks. been hating. Okay. I love you, Raven. She'll take that and run with it. That's nice. Um, be careful with what you say, though, because our teammate said she was going to make Raven cookies on here, and I don't think she has she yet. No, she did. She oh. had to. She didn't the next time she saw her. But Raven did her, not let it go. Yeah. Oh, she I will not go. make you cookies. <laughs> <laughs> now she doesn't like you anymore. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's fine. We can get into our next uh, topic. That's enough about Raven. We have Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokey House. Head down to Hokey House to listen to some great music and have some great food. Go play your songs of the week on the jukebox on the second floor. You can play Allie and Holland's song of the week if they have one when we get to them. Um, yeah, just go. <laughs> oh yeah, so that was your warning to think of something. No, <laughs> Put the wheels turning. I just forgot every song I've ever listened to my entire life. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go to Hokey House, eat some food, and listen to music, and watch basketball. There's tons of basketball on. Yeah. So, Georgia, what's your song of the week? My song, as always, I really need to sneeze. Give me a second. Okay. Sneeze um, if you're a winner. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> um, talk That Talk by Rihanna once again because oh. we keep winning. And that's your pregame or? Pregame. Hype. But then also after it is uh, Did It On Him by Nicki Minaj, but there's also another version of it that I really enjoy more than that version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but for um, family friendly reasons. You can look it up. Yeah. If you want to listen to it. Yeah. I'd um, be careful with that Google search. <laughs> <laughs> Please put Nicki Minaj's name at the end of the sentence. Okay. Um, yeah, my song of the week is just Taylor Swift. Um, since she started her tour, the set list is out, or it changes, but the same idea. So just have to prepare in the best way I can. Aren't you a little bit of a Swifty? Don't say a little bit. <laughs> oh, can you elaborate that? It's my entire personality. Is it? <laughs> no. Yeah, I love Taylor Swift. Um, did you just grow up listening to her or? Yeah, I had a poster of her on my wall when I was like 17. And then I was like, I think I'm getting a little too old. <laughs> my mom was like, Allie, I think it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say um, all too well. Mm. Taylor's version, obviously. The 10 minute one? The 10 obviously. minute one. You're so educated, Colin. Um, That's fine. I That's think fine. that might be mine. Yeah. Also, I love this song. I just thought of it because it makes, it gets me in such a good um, mood. Good day, by Nappy Roots. Georgia, such a good song. Well, good. Now we get to look at. Do up you have a her. boomerang on your arm? <laughs> yes. Oh wow! I have not noticed that. Do you like? Wow. Bo- well, there's a lot to know. There's I'll a lot to show you. Boomerangs, kangaroo, outback. <laughs> I feel like you're just naming all. The <laughs> yes. Okay. So it's all, uh, <laughs> surfing. <laughs> Is it an Australian thing? What boomerangs? Yeah. I told you she just because you have a boomerang. Jordan's going to go get the boomerang out of her room. Um, for all the audio, there's the boomerang. Oh, I, uh, it does make you Australian. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, they're Australian. What is the what is the story behind that? Is there a it's an Aboriginal tool and they use to like fill out animals, so like like it's supposed to like hit and come back. Does it? It's a hunting tool. I heard um, that if you throw it properly. Throw it. Hey guys, I also have a favorite song of the week. We were gonna forget. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. No, do you have one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, right now I am feeling like listening to um Run This Town. Oh, I like by Rihanna. Mm -hmm. I like that. Guys, for you guys who don't know, Holland's actually re-enrolling um as a high tech next year. She's a dancer. So everyone, everyone of the high tech team, go and follow her and DM her. What does that mean? (laughs) What is that? Explain (laughs) the high techs. The the Hercules dance team. Oh, love them. Would you ever go back to college? Would you guys ever go back to college? That's a good question. Maybe to get my masters. You would. Mm -hmm. Would Would you be on a dance team? Probably not. Okay. I probably would not be on a dance team. Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past me. I'll send a, never say never. Okay. Justin Bieber. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> is that, that your song? song? No. <laughs> Just fits. I like that the lyrics. Um, 
yeah, he's bigger than me, taller than me, because I should really relate. Is somebody bigger than you that you know? <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anybody bigger or taller than you. Really? In my life. Don't make a joke about me. She said the other day, she was like, you're closer to six foot than you are five foot. And I was like, I'm just running with that. I'll always You should put you. that in your bio. <laughs> I really should. Yeah, you should. That's, that's, like, that's also just like perspective in general. Yeah. Have you ever said that before? Did that just come to you? No, it just came to me. That was a really I good question. Just... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> How long's got him do? Glass How long's full. got him do? Okay, you guys want to hear some inspiration? Glass half full. Glass half full. Okay. Hey, how about this one? Grass is always greener on the other side. Okay. Listen up now. That's a good one. Um. No. Yeah. It just came to me in the moment. Mo- mo- I think I could be a it's motivational so speaker. I just learn your darkest insecurities, <laughs> and then I make you fall in love with them. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about mine later. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. It's gonna be one hundred twenty dollars um, an hour. <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, that was it for sorry. Do you want to go back to boomerangs? Or are you done? No, I'm done. Oh, I'm not sure. Like you, you've about been cut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. Um, I had some. Oh, didn't you ask? What your favorite songs to dance to were? Oh yeah, like what type of genre? Like what do you feel? Mm. Also, you more of like an improv choreograph? <laughs> Did you think we choreograph dances? She kind of does sometimes. No, but you, when you're together, no. Are we talking about the Bel Airs account? You can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> okay. The Thank world you. is your oyster. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Oh my gosh, you could be one too. <laughs> We're all of them today. Uh, for the TikTok videos. Yes. Oh, it's all improv. It's all. Do you just feel the beat. I, um, I think people sometimes think I'm serious, <laughs> and I'm not being serious. Okay. But yes, it is what just I, what I feel in the moment, you know. I think we do a lot of feel good. So, and a lot of that music is like '90s and like mm. '80s. Like that's really where you get the funk, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then sometimes we think hip hop. I said funk. Funk. <laughs> Funk. With the N. Yes. Okay. Um, what about you? What do you think? No, I agree. Justin Timberlake home <laughs> loves Justin Timberlake and like Lady Gaga. Britney Spears, like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys like going to concerts? I think I would go to them more. I, but I, yes, I, I, <laughs> the idea of concerts sounds nice. The idea <laughs> of concerts sounds nice. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming. Yeah, I agree. Like yeah. the last concert we went to, we were... Um, not in a bad way. I think people just want to say hi. Yeah. But then it's like thousands of pictures and yeah. I'm very anxious. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it was also a Fletcher concert. So it's like, <laughs> that's my crowd right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could see anyone in concert and not like you had like a private box, whatever. Um, who would you see? Oh my gosh. We talked about this the other day. I have mine. First. Lady Gaga. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, yeah. Did you already talk about this? Did I tell you that? No. I went to a concert. Mm. And she gave the cell out of it. Georgia. Oh my god. And it's on YouTube. Wait. What? It's shaped. It's shaped. Is that to be Can we watch that? Yeah. <laughs> Are we crocking? Um, <laughs> I, no, okay. I went to a lady. I think I've talked about this. I went to Lady Gaga okay. and Britney Spears like consecutive years as a kid. Mom took me to both. Um, How old were you? No, yeah, pretty young. Um, Cause I remember I was like, oh, my favorite Britney Spears song is If You See Amy. <laughs> um, and then my favorite Lady Gaga one was uh, the German one. But oh yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was just very mature at a young age. I'd agree. Yeah, or yeah. your mom just didn't have the parental controls. <laughs> my music. mom is just a legend. Yes, we love her. Yeah. Um, and I was just screaming, "Marry the Night" mm-hmm. on the way to school. That album is influential. What one is that? It's a good song. Born this way. way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I am. Great I album. love that album. <laughs> great I love album. that album. Yep. Sure. Who would you see in concert, Ali? Oh my gosh. Dead or alive? alive? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, I would hope they would be alive if they're performing. <laughs> I wouldn't be that fun of a concert. <laughs> um. Uh, prob- maybe like Amy Winehouse. Oh. <gasps> That's you're speaking. You guys are speaking her language. <laughs> she literally. Go ahead. Oh, I went to find the um back to black vinyl. Uh-huh. Oh, because I said imagine just cooking dinner with that on. Yeah. Um, tears drawing their own. Uh huh. 
shower song. Yeah, I that was my karaoke for, song for the longest, but I changed uh, Valerie. Mm. I changed oh. it to Why Don't You Come On Over, Ali B. <laughs> <laughs> Took that a few tequi- tequilas, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd started singing it, I think. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Amy Winehouse. Um, I think Beyonce shows are like insane, so mm-hmm. I feel like that would be such a fun thing to do. Mac Miller, mm-hmm. um, all good. J Cole. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> no, that was great. Um, yeah, that I think is a nice what segue. Did you answer? Yeah. Oh, not that question. Did you? Did if you I could swizzle? see anyone. Um, I think we did have, we did talk about did, this before. Yeah. I think I would, I've seen Toto Swift, and I know I'm going to again, but I really would want to see the 1975. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, choice. yeah. I feel like I've seen their concerts from just all the videos TikTok. that people post. Yeah, like, yeah, I've same. been, I was there. You can never go to a concert anymore without, like, spoilers, I feel Yeah. Like. I'm, like, seeing half the show on TikTok. Yeah, you know, I've already seen also, Taylor Swift. I yeah. know, I know. I don't know how I feel about it, but. I also feel like you have to be in the front row now because everyone has their phones. I'd be yeah, like, get it. Yeah, but yeah. it's like sometimes I'm like dodging the iPhone 13s to try to see. <laughs> I it, went you know? I went to a Killers concert when I was like 17. Uh-huh. And it was like four of my friends. And then we were in the pit, but it was a bunch of like old like guys. Uh-huh. And we were all there with like our phones. And they're like they, they were yelling at us mad. Yeah. So we also got cat called. Oh. Um, but it was fun. <laughs> the concert was fun. Yeah. But yeah, my phone was apparently in their way, so I get that. Now I get that. Well, now I feel like I don't even have to record anything because I'll just get the videos later. Yeah. If you have a bad one, you can just save it. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's a nice segue into the next part. We're just going to keep asking questions. Um, we asked on Instagram and also just some that we made up. So, <laughs> um, But a lot of people were curious with how we met. Um, yeah. As for it. So <laughs> basically, you guys... I guess decided to go to a pit women's basketball game. The, the game after we had just played there. The game after we had played at Pitt, and then UVA decides to go play at Pitt. And no offense to either of those basketball programs, but they're not. I I mean. Well, you could just say the wrong Virginia, really. If you, you want can, to see a Virginia team play basketball, it's Virginia team yeah. women's basketball. Yeah, they're we they're not as good. I'm just gonna say it. Um, so they posted at that game. And so I decided to slide up. And what did I, I don't even know what I said. I probably said you went to the wrong game or. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And then, but you had already. Yeah, because your brother already followed me. Because, like, your brother, like, what? Like, just loves basketball too. He's a he's a yeah, he loves basketball. Yeah, he, he coaches. coaches well, loves Coach Brooks, whatever. Follows, like, the program. So he posted them at the game on the TV. And I was like, what did I, what did I even say? I've got a few tickets here waiting for y'all if y'all want to come. Yeah. So basically, to my surprise, Ali actually responded and said that if we could get Cor- should we even say this <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I feel so rich in a title. This was not. I was Do you want to say it or no? I, yeah, yeah. I okay. wouldn't have come either way, but I was just trying. I was like, give me courtside tickets, and I'll be there the next game. I didn't. I. I don't even sit courtside now. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's actually, I'm doing charity work. So basically, we were s- dripping in sweat, panicking, trying to get courtside tickets. Um, turns out they're not available. <laughs> like, you, you, you have can't... to be a donor or like, yeah, they don't just like uh, have extra. Head them out. I'm an organ donor. Are you, <laughs> are you an organ donor? I am. Okay. Then now we know. I guess. Well, they no. don't even have them like right on the court. No. 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 Well, we did it for the NCAAs one. Day. No, but there's still like the. Yeah, there's like a barrier thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, like Pitt, Pitt is an arena, so they have like the fold-out chairs like around the court. Yeah. Shout out Pitt, who got us courtside tickets. Who's, how many wins did they have in the year? I am not a fan of Pitt. I just <laughs> want to say that. I'm a fan. I support women, so I say go Pitt's basketball team. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot, hot take. Um, <laughs> Anyway, but we must say we must mention. Oh, I still this up. Um, <laughs> ever since they did come to our game, touch wood, haven't lost a game. We haven't lost a game. A lot of good things has happened. Do you want to put this over there? I would. No, I would like to talk about. I would like to talk about the fact that since you've known me, yeah. your winning streak started. Yeah. No, what game was the first that they watched or came to? Was it Duke at home? Yes, that's yeah, it. Was Duke at home and we we blew them out? Yeah. I'm just gonna say. Yeah. And then we had. Friends. Really good wins against NC State, UNC, Louisville. all those games. We won the ACC tournament at Louisville. Yeah. Yeah. All um, the good, yeah, all the good ACC games. So we owe it all to them. Miami. Really. <laughs> Miami. Miami. Yeah. It has nothing to do with talent. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nope>, just me. <laughs> um, 
Um, so hopefully, I mean, this is a good time to mention that they're coming. They went to the NCAA tournament games at home, and they're coming to Seattle too. So and it's won it. And it's it won really, it. Yeah, it's all us. It has yeah. nothing to do with the fact that Liz averages double double, <laughs> and, and George is hitting twenty six points a game. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Shooting sixty two percent from three. <laughs> also, it's like it's so. Not ref- well, it is refreshing because I feel like you played basketball, so like you know, you know, whenever you're talking about basketball, you know what you're talking about. You have yeah. no idea, but it's funny because you're trying to <laughs> not learn. a single clue. But you're trying to learn, and it's like a cute dynamic. But it's like we could be stressed about stuff, and I was like, "Why are you stressed? I'm not stressed." Yeah, like Thank it's very you. refreshing. We were like, we to be honest, like we were nervous. We get nervous before every game, but we were nervous before like the South Dakota State game. Yeah, but Ali was just like, "What's there to be nervous about?" It was just like a nice perspective very to have refreshing. Like, confidence. Very confident. Well, yeah. I think it's your job to be nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's for you guys to worry about. That yeah. is true. You guys have to run with your legs. I just have to run with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which you guys do. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I think we're just loud people. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> my my fam- like Andrew, yeah. is very loud. And Holland's usually quiet. But I mean, the oh my gosh, I've been, been yelling. So bad that I have been have- yelling. <laughs> I don't talk a lot, but <laughs> she had something to say recently. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. No, I think, but you guys, I mean, truly, I think that Virginia Tech has like a great, like family almost. Like I, we're loud, but we're surrounded by other people who are also loud. My mm-hmm. parents. Student section was great. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, you guys have some ride or dies in those yeah. gyms. You know? No, definitely. You guys yeah. fit right in. We um, actually saw a woman who had been going to the game games for like 40 or 50 years or something like yeah. that which is insane yeah yeah that's really awesome um yeah we, we did get a lot of support over the yeah. last weekend and that was like ridiculous breaking like a ton of records and stuff so mm-hmm. Ooh, what is it? learn? it's okay <laughs> wait no geez. okay you go like the pete your piece and then you can just <laughs> oh. well you can do that too yeah yeah. Am I doing it? We're teaching them how to do VT with their fingers. Wait, fingers. I also have a question. Okay. You know the one where they go like this? Oh, and yeah. They go like this? They're doing this, right? It's a V and then a T. Yeah. Oja. I thought they would do I thought the T was their body. So they were like making the T, like your, their oh, body, no. the T here. It was this. They yeah. did but it because it, it, it was a prof- like such an odd angle. <laughs> it was a professor, right? I don't know. It was some. It was, a guy, it was like a professor that came to like a lot of like the games and men's or whatever and he would do it at like the specific like three quarter time or something like uh-huh. that in the third quarter or the fourth quarter or something it's like the certain song i don't want to sound um what's the word i don't know not like educated on it because i think he did he did pass away yeah he passed away so like that's why people they're carrying on the legacy which yeah. is cute that is were you guys doing it i was trying I'm to tell him we were we were talking about who was right <laughs> and i was like i'm telling you they're doing this <laughs> i thought they were doing the ymc and she's <laughs> doing <laughs> <laughs> just moving. dancing. I'm That's just so waving funny. my hands oh, back so and forth. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Well, continue on with basketball. If you two were to play one on one against each, uh, someone who would it be? Each other. No. <laughs> I would break every bone in my neck. I don't I'd take, I'd take the ankles in two seconds. Who? <laughs> who would you play one on one against? Um. In my prime. Yeah. You. Okay. Will you take Georgia? Oh my god! I'm scared. Yes. I've seen there's not, a ch- there's not a chance that I'm taking Liz. <laughs> That's a compliment. You, I'm, I'm not tall enough. Yeah. I'm five. You know, you added up the math. <laughs> you could find ten four. I choose you. <laughs> I think anybody else would absolutely break my ankles. Yeah. I would just. I'll be kind. I'll be nice. No. Um. We can't wait to get them on a basketball court because oh we're gonna play two on two. Oh my gosh, I can't wait! But I don't. We're gonna play. But also, like, are we talking like you want to? Like, I would want to play Georgie to see that, like, to kind of prove to myself that I was even close to Georgie to find out <laughs> if I'm even close to her level. Mm-hmm. But like, if I could just like chat to them while they're dunking, <laughs> on them, I don't know. Oh I mean, um, there's so many le- like Sue Bird mm-hmm. comes to mind. Legend. Uh, Brittany Griner, of course. Um, Della, Della Don. Don. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're three for three. You know, yeah, Coach you really can't Coach go Brooks wrong. Coach coached against her. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we'll get. He said he would get cooked by. Her. You know who else he coached? Who plays in the NBA is um to at JMU. She oh, went to Yeah, yeah. 
who is was crazy. I mean, I used to watch her growing up. We'd go to the games and watch her. Yeah. That's, so you grew up going to the JMU games? Uh-huh. That's so cool. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy because now you like you watch her, but all I've like heard is like stories that he's told me about her. Uh-huh. And it's like, yeah. I mean, she was at, cam- she was at camps when yeah. they had JMU camps. That's insane. They'd like come and eat with us and we'd like shake it. <laughs> You'd be scared to eat anything other than like broccoli. Like, I'm growing, I swear. That's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool that you grew up around because you're from Virginia. So mm-hmm. been around. Yeah. Well, uh, we also should have said there's like, it wasn't just random, but like you're from here. Oh, like, no, right, right. Shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Coming well, back to the. Blacksburg's not too far. No. Yeah. Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Not bad at all. Um, Who are your style icons? That's a random question. Someone asked it. Somebody asked. Me? Why doesn't somebody else go first? (laughs) Style icon. You know, if you don't have any, that's fine. I have a moment. I guess somebody thinks you have really good style, so. They asked about me or they asked about you? No, they asked the thing I put out. So for everyone. And who would you play one-on-one against? Oh, are we answering those? Yeah. (laughs) I don't want to answer that. (laughs) I play one-on-one with George all the time. I'm scared that someone will call me out. What about like what about like men? Like maybe like Devin um, Booker. Is this to chat? Yeah, because Scotty Pippen, Devin Booker, um, Jokic. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, just amazing. to chat. Like every yeah. single player I know. Kelsey Plum. Yeah, but I'm scared that like she would rip me off. Kelsey <laughs> Plum would absolutely obliterate me. I mean, that's okay. Absolutely obliterate me. So, but then, like, yeah. <laughs> I think you'd give her a little, um, maybe not an ankle break, but maybe a sore ankle. I, I might, could score. I might uh-huh. be able to just jack up. I'm not saying just against Kelsey Plum in general, but the way I'd be jacking, I could just hit at least one if I'm playing any type of play. One thing about you, it's going in. It's going, no, one thing about me is going It's going up. up. <laughs> and that's okay. We love you for that. We um, that. But style icons. I don't really have one. I just look on tiktok or instagram and just pick out specific things that i like but i don't have like an all-round style icon also because i'm in team issued sweats mm-hmm. it's five days out of seven yeah okay. yeah five to seven. what about you so I, I don't i really don't have one i don't know i'm just always constantly online shopping as i said before um asos you watch youtubers i do but i don't like have a style icon i don't i don't know that's a tough question <laughs> Do you look at somebody and be like, I really like the way they dress? Probably, yeah. but I'm blanking. Like, who are your professional athletes? Like, when you see the pictures of them before a game, do you have anyone in the tunnel? Like, yeah. You're like, oh, I love the way they dress. Um, no. I, I feel like that's not, I don't typically have that, like, style. I yeah. think it's a different style, but I appreciate it. It's yeah. just not like I try to. I also get very conflicted because I follow a lot of people from home and I'm like, oh, I love the way she dresses. But then I'm like, I'm literally not in the area to dress like that. Um, Like in the climate to dress like that. Yeah. I was going to say, I guess my style icon currently is a girl from Australia. Really? Yeah. Her name's like Courtney. Oh, you should know. Yeah. Yeah. Who has barely has like any followers. No, but she dresses dresses so so cool. cool. Oh, I want to see. So cool. Like you do. Like very like athletic build, but. Pretty girl, you know. I think I'm someone. Like, I think girl. when you showed me, it reminded someone said that they dressed like a. Oh, no, I've blinked. A, that's okay. Granola beach girl or something. Like <laughs> yes, <that. laughs> or like indie but without it's the like, chacos. It's like a little mix of everything, but it also looks comfy. Like yeah, yeah. It is. I need to find like a specific icon. Do you have, Do you have one? Yeah. Oh, I have a few. Okay, let's hear for them. sure. <clears throat> um, did, we talked about this the other day. Yeah. yeah. Well. Um. Yeah, you guys, that's where you guys brought up Devin Booker, which yeah. is like, which is like, yeah, of course I wish I could wear that, but he's so tall and that's why I think why so much of his clothing looks so good because it's so proportional. Yeah. Um, you know, he's Liz's height. Liz, why do you not dress like Devin Booker? Just put <laughs> perspective, like perspective. Like, yeah. yeah. How tall is he? Six, five. Um, so six, five. Yeah. He's shorter. Yeah. Actually. Six, actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Um, he's closer to six foot and Liz is closer <laughs> to seven, seven foot. foot. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be on tour. <laughs> um, I would say Jacob Alordi. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like, and I've been getting into like, Ita- like the Italian fashion where mm-hmm. it's very like flowy, big mm-hmm. pants, loafers, um, s- like super simple bracelets, super simple 
necklaces or like scarves that they wear. Um, yeah, I think so. Back in the day, it used to be just like Ashlyn Harris. <laughs> I was like, Ashlyn Harris, I want to dress just like that. <laughs> the soccer player. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sue Bird has cool kind of street style, mm-hmm. like graphic tees, nice shoes, cargos. Yep. Nice. Those fun. are good. Yeah. I like to take from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I just am a copycat. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, I. Well, I was gonna say merch from all of you guys. Like, where? Like, what is it? Because obviously, you have your own company. A B Nice Company. Um. And then you. <sighs> Me? Yeah. Why? Like your and I like they people ask my NIL. Store. Oh, um, it's just what is it called? Hokies NIL store, mm-hmm. Campus Inc. or something. Mm-hmm. Link is in the bio. I'm, <laughs> yeah, good plug, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Need some confidence, huh? Um, <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Yeah, <laughs> thoughts on Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I like it, but I'm just. Disgusted at the names on the menu. Steak and lobster. Because it's like, it's like grilled, grilled chicken on the barbie, please. Um, may I please have the Victorian sirloin with a side of uh, grilled coconut cockaburra uh, wings? Is that and offensive? It's just like, well, I don't know. I just, when they bring out the shots on a didgeridoo, I'm just like, that's just a bit culturally inappropriate, isn't it? I agree. Like, <laughs> completely. <laughs> 1999. <laughs> and the way they say steak. <laughs> Steak and lobster. <laughs> um, the food is not bad, but yeah, it's very. Mm. I like their bread. It's a hundred percent of my like, top five bread. It's just like <laughs> the menu where you like. <laughs> Oops, I can't. That's explicit. But it's like when they're like, can I please have the? Uh... I can't even think of shrimp the on the bobby. <laughs> no, but it's like yeah, but it's like the shrimp on the bobby. Um, I'll have the shrimp like. There's no way I'm saying I'm having the grilled chicken on the barbie. Oh, you medium. won't say that? No. Oh, yeah. I'll just have the grilled um, chicken. Yeah. Everything the TikTok where so- they're like, the what? The grilled chicken. No, the what? I'm confused. <laughs> the grilled chicken on the barbie. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they do that all the time with like drinks. They make drinks yeah. the most inappropriate yeah. names yeah. ever. And I'm like, I will point. <laughs> well, I'll just get the one with orange juice and mint. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Speaking of that, oh. are you guys wanting... Outback for dinner. I love the bread. I'm sorry that it <laughs> I do love culture. the bread. I, I hate that I well, love Well, I've it. never said I love the atmosphere. No, that's what I <laughs> I love the food. I can eat the steaks. Why do they have a kangaroo kangaroos as servers? Okay. They make, <laughs> they make the wait, waiters wear kangaroo pastures. You're like, this is the food bad. comes out, out of the pat pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your steak. That's yeah. Nice. I, I love Outback. I think we should get that. Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, now I'm that we're talking about I'm it, starving. Yeah. we should get a meal to just throw out of the window, though. You know, or we should just smash it in spite you morally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the yeah. whatever shrimp you're talking about, <laughs> coconut shrimp, and the kookaburra wings. Uh huh. Yeah, Rude. it's really yeah triggering for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, it's not even authentic. <laughs> it I am delusional and I am hungry, so I think. We're going to go to Starbucks. We're going to Starbucks. <laughs> you're so used to saying we're going to Starbucks. Yeah, I'm still um, Yeah, we're going to go. Um, we'll teach them our outro. You guys are definitely queens of castles, so you're going to say it with us. I'm going to say I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. You're going to say I'm Holly. And then I'll say and we're, and then you're going to say queens of castles. Okay, got okay. it. Okay. I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. I'm Allie. I'm Holland. And, and we're, we're the queens, queens of the castle. castle. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? Shoot it on. <laughs> <laughs>